Auckland Castle Deer House, a fine example of Gothic Revival architecture managed deer parks were an established element of rural life during the Middle Ages, as hunting was such an important part of the life of the aristocracy and nobility, clerical as well as lay. Shelters for deer were unusual. This much later example, dating from the 18th century, demonstrates that the deer park remained in use for several centuries. Built about 1760 by Richard Trevor, Bishop of Durham from 1752 to 1771. It provided a feeding place and shelter for the deer, and also had rooms in which the bishop and his guests could picnic, enjoy the views of the park and take a rest from hunting. As well as serving a practical purpose, it also acted as an eye-catcher, adding interest to the view of the landscape park from the castle. Tucked away just one mile from the village of Corbridge is Iden Castle, the perfect location for a family day out. Almost completely intact, it is one of the finest and most unaltered examples of a 13th-century English manor house. Set in a beautiful and secluded Northumberland woodland, it was originally built as an undefended residence, but was almost immediately fortified on the outbreak of Anglo-Scottish warfare. Nevertheless it was pillaged and burnt by the Scots in 1315, seized by English rebels two years later, and again occupied by Scots in 1346. The castle later became a farmhouse in the 17th century and was lived in up until 1966. Prudhoe Castle has many a story to tell so a family day out to this Northumberland fortress is truly worthwhile. Built as part of a series of Norman castles along the Tyne after the 1066 Norman conquest, Prudhoe was continuously occupied for over nine centuries. It was originally the home of the Umfravilles but was eventually taken over by the famous Percy family who restored it. Prudhoe survived two sieges during the 1170s and was the only Northumberland castle to resist the Scots. This year is Prudhoe's 30th anniversary of being open to the public as English Heritage first opened it in May 1986. Brinkburn Priory is tucked away amongst the woodland, within a picturesque loop of the River Coquette. Lace up your boots and take a scenic 10-minute walk from the car park to discover this hidden gem. See the striking stained glass windows and William Hill organ. And while you're there sing a song to appreciate the beautiful acoustics of the building. The 12th century church of the Augustinian Priory was completely re-roofed and restored in the mid-19th century. It is one of the best examples of early Gothic architecture in Northumberland. Stepping inside will transport you back in time. Tynemouth Castle and Priory on the coast of North East England was once one of the largest fortified areas in England. Overlooking the North Sea and the River Tyne, it dominates the headland. With its 2,000-year history and beautiful views it is the perfect location. For a family fun day out. A popular spot to enjoy the view and a great location to have a picnic, lie back and enjoy the sea air. Discover Tynemouth's story from its original beginnings as an Iron Age settlement, an Anglo-Saxon monastery, a royal castle and a coastal defence. The gun battery was designed to defend the Tyne in the First and Second World Wars. Welcome to walk with Castle B King or Queen for the day in this mighty Northumberland fortress crowning the hilltop above the River Coquette. Enjoy a day out and see how the powerful Dukes of Northumberland, the Percy family lived. Explore the floors and rooms in the magnificent cross-shaped keep which was once home to, Harry Hotspur, immortalised as a rebel lord by Shakespeare, and Bane of Scottish raiders. See spectacular river and coastal views from the castle walls.